Hello everyone. You probably all know that an adoption is the process in which an adult takes responsibility for a child, even if they're not related to the child by blood. But what about animals? Apparently, adoption is a regular occurrence in the animal world too, sometimes even between creatures of different species. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get it on. And piglets. It's hard to imagine more different animals than a tigress and a pig. Putting them together doesn't sound like a good idea, right? But sometimes amazing things can happen. A zoo in Thailand decided to conduct an interesting experiment to tame their tigers. They let the little tigers be fed by a pig, and the little piglets were given to a tigress, and none of the mothers pushed away the cubs. On the contrary, they treated them in a very maternal way. Living together with such different species should make the tigers more obedient, at least according to the zoo workers, and teach them that pigs are friends and not food. Honestly, we're not sure they will succeed, but, well, who knows? Maternal feelings are a real mystery. Pigeon and a Chihuahua Herman is a pigeon that can't fly, and Lundy is a chihuahua that can't walk. So what, you ask? Well, in January 2020, Lundy ended up in a foundation that rescues animals with birth defects in Rochester, US. That's where Lundy met Herman, and the pigeon suddenly took the dog under his care. Do better. Yeah. <laughs> Although their relationship is more of a friendship rather than a father-son relationship, we just had to tell you about them still. And look at these pictures. The founder of the center, Sue Rogers, assures that these two are inseparable. They like to snuggle together while lying on their fluffy blankets. By the way, the center has received many offers from people willing to take both Herman and Lundy together, so the two of them would never part. Monkeys and Tigers in the wild, monkeys and tigers are sworn enemies, but in a South Carolina wildlife sanctuary, an orangutan and three tigers became best friends. The male orangutan watched the caretakers tend the tigers, and he wanted to try it too. The outcome was a strong bond between him and the cubs, and it looks like the orangutan thinks he's their father, or their mother, or some kind of zookeeper. And this isn't the first time an orangutan has befriended a tiger. In fact, apes like unlikely friendships. A chimpanzee named Dodo, who lives in a Thailand zoo, also takes care of and feeds a tiger cub, and he looks as happy as a new mother. Dalmatian and a Spotted Lamb a little spotted lamb from South Australia was abandoned by a mother. In such cases, usually the farm owner or some worker takes care of the calf, but in this case, the lamb found an unusual foster mother, a Dalmatian female. Yeah. We must admit, these two look pretty similar. Maybe that's why the dog thought that that weird puppy was actually hers. And the lamb didn't mind. Now she follows her adoptive mother everywhere, while the mother licks, cares, and protects her. But it's the owner who has to bottle feed the lamb. We won't be surprised if at some point the lamb starts barking, bringing sticks or guarding the house. Anyway, she'll clearly have a good upbringing. Dog and Lion Back in 2014, a lion cub was born in a zoo in Sri Lanka, but unfortunately, the mother rejected the baby. This can happen among wild animals. Unfortunately, it's impossible to change the mind of a creature, and therefore the zoo workers were worried about the future of the cub. After all, you could feed him, but it's still impossible to live without parental love and care. And people, people are very different creatures. But then, a dog came to the rescue. She had just had puppies too, and a few hours later, the young mother recognized the lion lion cub as her child. She started to feed him, lick him, and take care of him. It looked like she loved him more than her puppies. The lion started playing with the other pups and grew up in a happy family. Naturally, when he finally became an adult, the lion needed a more suitable home. He couldn't stay in the house of the dog owner, so the predator was first transferred to a zoo and then to a wildlife sanctuary. Today, he's turned into a beautiful adult lion with a magnificent mane and no longer looks like that tiny furball. We wonder if he remembers who fed him and raised him. Could he recognize his adoptive mother after a few years? Hen and different animals. When hens lay eggs, their instinct urges them to sit on them to keep their future offspring warm. When the chicks hatch, they're still tiny and fragile, so the mother takes them under her wings until they're big enough to stay warm on their own. But chickens have enough love and warmth for everyone, even kittens. 
A chicken named Coco literally adopts little kittens and makes sure that they're not threatened by anything. For example, she kicks the other chickens out of the house to protect her babies. Seriously, the rest of the chickens have to live outside. Wait, but what about the cat's mother? The kittens couldn't have hatched from eggs. Well, the mother lives in the same house. What's more, Coco protects her as well, out of habit. Once a long time ago, this chicken raised her, and now she seems to be a happy grandmother. She takes care of both her fluffy daughter and her grandchildren. But Coco has a biological daughter too, and this young chicken takes care of the kittens as well, like a real aunt. This is the weirdest family we've ever seen. But Coco's case isn't the only one. Another chicken is taking care of newborn rabbits, and these babies have parents. But it's not like she stole them. The rabbit and the chicken split the responsibilities. One feeds the babies, and the other warms them with his body. You could say they work shifts, and it looks as weird as it sounds, but apparently it's okay for them. Ashlyn the dog and her raccoons. You probably think that pit bulls are aggressive, evil creatures that are ready to attack everyone they see. That they are some kind of bloodthirsty monsters. Well, that's because you haven't met Ashlyn. She is the world's best foster dog mum. When the three little raccoons were orphaned and found themselves in the house of Ashlyn's owners, she immediately decided that the charming trio were her own puppies. Why? Well, because why not? The cubs were completely helpless, could barely walk on their own and were very scared. It's unclear how and why they lost their mother. But the foster mother immediately took them under her protection. Now Ashlyn is always with her baby raccoons and they touch her fur all the time. That's how the babies make sure that they're safe. However, with such a guardian, they certainly have nothing to fear. Although they are domesticated and adore their humans, they're still wild animals. So they get their own food, snoop around and climb trees. And when the time comes, they can go back to the forest. Cat and Ducklings even the most domestic cats are predators at heart. They still remember a time when their distant ancestors hunted in the wild. Sometimes genetic memory takes over, and then your goldfish, your parrot, or even a random mouse may end up paying the price. But for this cat, her maternal instincts were more important than her prey drive. Ronan and Emma Lally from a small Irish village could barely believe their eyes when their cat adopted three orphan ducklings. She just put them among her own three kittens. At first, First, Ronan thought that the cat wanted to eat the duckling when she suddenly grabbed it with her teeth, but it turned out that she was just grabbing it to put it down next to her kittens. She was doing the same thing she used to do with her babies. Don't worry, not a single duckling was hurt during the nurturing process. Moreover, they quickly became attached to their adoptive mother and clung to her if people tried to separate them. Experts say that although this is a rather unusual case, it's not very strange. Animals can't actually count, so the cat doesn't know if she has three, four, five, or six six kittens. If they're babies, it means they are her babies. Imagine how surprised she'll be when they grow up. <laughs> Dog Nanny Jack Russell Terrier dogs are energetic, noisy, and fearless, but sometimes they can also be great babysitters. Not for humans, but for wild beasts. Meet Natty. She is a permanent resident of the wildlife sanctuary in Namibia, and a foster mother or a very good nanny for all babies. Hyenas, cheetahs, baboons. Natty doesn't seem to feel at all like she's from a different species. For her, these cubs are just babies who need care, protection, and affection. The founder of the shelter says that Natty provides the babies with a kind of motherly love that no human could give them. She treats other animals as equals, even if Natty's adopted babies grow up to be several times bigger than her. For her, they will always be babies. Capybara and Puppies Many people consider capybaras the friendliest creatures on the planet, and that's a well-deserved reputation. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They are vegetarians, live in packs, and don't fight with anyone at all. On the contrary, capybaras are very friendly to every living creature, and Cheesecake is a great example of that. This capybara ended up in an animal shelter in Arkansas when she was very young. She initially lived with the dogs at the founder's house. She played with the dogs, ate with the dogs, and slept with the dogs. I know Cheesecake didn't consider herself a dog, but she definitely had a special affection for her. As she grew up, she began taking care of all the orphaned puppies at the shelter. Cheesecake fosters puppies, eats and sleeps with them, and even punishes them if they behave badly. Anyway, she acts like a real dog mum. But Cheesecake isn't just friends with the puppies. As a real capybara, she enjoys hanging out with all the animals in the shelter, and she takes care of them too.